Hi everyone and welcome to Series 9 Monthly Rivals. We are landing here on Chihuahua Circuit to drive the brand new Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z car. It's brand new in Forza Horizon 5 but it's been for a while in Forza Horizon 4. And it's quite funny that in both Forza's the model year for the car is 2018 even though the actual Hot Wheels toy has not been made until 2020 but the actual car on which the toy is made is indeed manufactured in 2018 for the competition Hot Wheels Legends where the winner finds its way in the Hot Wheels Toys model role which 2JZ definitely did and if you ever wondered why the name is uh, what it is the 2JZ that's a direct reference to the engine it runs. It uses the engine 2JZ from Toyota Supra, the proper JDM beast. So uh, there you have it, the name secret is open and I am finishing the first warm-up lap against the dirty time just to set something clean and if you only look to complete the festival playlist requirements that's really all you need just drive slow and nicely and relaxed because if you want to make it fast this car requires a little bit of work see this is a pretty powerful rear wheeled uh, vehicle which requires quite careful throttle control and it becomes more problematic if you don't run it with the traction control because the amount of times I spun out while doing some of the prep is immense. It has excellent brakes, so you don't need to worry about breaking into the corners. But the moment you are just a little bit not careful on throttle without traction control, you're going to find yourself looking the wrong way around. That's for sure. At least that's uh, what I did many, many times. And overall, even though I can take it around the lap uh, without traction control with reasonably decent time I am quite a bit faster with traction control on so you are seeing me like that now I'm finishing here on the footage the second warm-up lap uh, against Hot Shot King and I guess a third warm-up is in order so we'll again take it nice and slow without any push and then the next one will take proper fast or at least as fast as um, I can actually do it but for now I'm just measuring how the car reacts to various values of throttle how far I can push it in the corners or how slow I can go without actually going to standstill so it's just um, taking the car around the track. I usually put the footage of actual racing uh, into the monthly rivals but I thought that some of the prep laps uh, would also not hurt especially as they are making a progression through leaderboards anyways there's not gonna be too many of them there's just this one is coming to finish it's still a standing start and we are still outside of one minute range but Enough fooling around, now the actual lap where I try to drive, well, as fast as I can. It's still a standing lap against the standing lap uh, target, but this time I was not holding up and I tried to maintain the racing line. Well, you can see I'm not exactly successful in that at all times, but at least I tried and I tried to, you know, um, put an actual effort into the time and I've been rewarded because I believe when this lap finishes that's already uh, either really close to 1% time or already within 1% I can't quite remember unfortunately we can't look at the history of our positions that would be a nice feature you know when not only you see your place on the leaderboards but also some sort of infographic or a chart that would show how you progressed through it because for many people I think that would be quite useful now the last of the standing laps attempt is finished and now one of the flying laps and you can see already the lap counter is way up 
and I am on my fifth lap of trying to beat time that Purge has set. Now if you have been following me you know that Purge is not only a reasonably fast driver but also a brilliant painter whose liveries I've been using quite a few times as recent as this week for both trial and PR stunts as well. So he keeps entertaining me and uh, yeah having his account in my friend list definitely pays off both in terms of liveries and in terms of the target to beat in rivals. We are approaching the la end of this lap and I am quite a bit ahead so this lap worked out quite nicely for me beating by one second seven tenth and here we are on my last attempt racing against Ryan I won't manage to beat his time I gave up it's now lap 15 I actually put another 10 I think afterwards but I never got even close to the target time so I had to settle for my best lap that you're watching right now. It's still an improvement on my previous time, I think 2 tenth or something like that. And I just, yeah, I'm content with that. There's only so much time I can put into running rivals for one challenge on its own. What's your time? Did you do better or a bit worse? Uh, let me know in the comments and uh, Maybe we'll share our experiences about this car and this challenge. And with that we are coming to a very end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.